I am a smoothie girl. Smoothies are my key breakfast item in the morning. I'm sure there's all kinds of debate over what is important to eat for breakfast. Number one, it's important to eat breakfast. I try to make a smoothie that is nutritional to me, something I like to, you know, the taste is good. And so today I'm going to share with you my recipe. I use my Nutribullet. It's my favorite device to order to uh, get the smoothie all ready to go. Now I'll be honest, uh, it's, I think it's on its last legs, so say a prayer that it works while we're watching this video. The first thing I put in my smoothie is kefir. I make my own kefir. What is kefir, you may wonder? Well, you can research that to find out more. If you'd rather not use something like kefir, then you can use any of the almond milk, or almond milk, coconut milk, nut milks is what I mean to say. Um, you also can just use water if you don't want to have a milk substance in there. Next, I add in berries. I do berry blend pretty much every day because of the antioxidants that come along with berries. My, uh, my first choice would be to use organic berries. But it's not always easy to find those all year round, and depending on where you live, you might have a hard time finding those at all. But in the spring and summer, during strawberry season, if you can get to a farmer's market where you can get organic, locally grown strawberries, I encourage you to buy a bunch, freeze them, and then use them all winter long. And then I start adding a few extra things here and there. A lot of this might depend on what I have in the house. I try to have all of this on hand, but sometimes I don't. Um, and how quickly I need to be on the move. Flax seeds, lots and lots of great benefits from flax seeds. As you can see, I'm not really measuring anything. And that's typically how I do things. I don't measure anything at all. I eyeball it all. And um, if it's good, then I try it again. This is unsweetened coconut. Why do I put that in there? It's probably got health benefits too, but I can't remember what they are at the moment. Next, I add in some spinach. Now this is the remainder of my frozen spinach. Um, I got a great tip uh, from a friend who said, when your spinach is gonna start to get wilty, freeze it, because then you can just pull it out and use it. Next comes something that you may not have heard of. It's called moringa. This is moringa. Moringa goes in next. Just a couple teaspoons of it. And finally, I add in a little bit of cinnamon. Sometimes I also add in turmeric, which has a lot of anti-inflammatory and other properties. And the one thing I forgot to bring today is a banana. I usually put a banana in there too. If you have any sour type things in there, turmeric tends to be sour, other stuff, then the banana can help to overpower that. The last thing that I just recently started adding into my smoothies is a lemon. Now, I don't mean just like the lemon juice, but everything, including the rind. If you've been following my uh, medical path, then maybe you research lemon and you'll find out a little bit of the reasons why I have chosen to put lemon into my smoothies. I encourage you to research all of it because it's amazing what you can discover when you realize if you use the food that God has created to nourish your body every day, then you really can find yourself feeling better, more energized. Just a lot of great things can happen when you eat the right things every day. What I say, it's not working. All right, hold on. Hey, it started.